you have to pass the test of rejection. And here comes the dreamer, Joseph, and he says, I've got a dream, and, and, and they hate him all the more. And the Bible says uh, just a while later that they're out in the fields, and, and Joseph comes down to see his brothers. And watch what happens when Joseph comes to see his brothers in, in Genesis. Uh, uh, go there on the screens. Put it up on the screen, Genesis 37. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them near Dothan. But they saw him in the distance, and before he reached them, they plotted to kill him. Here comes that dreamer. They said to each other, come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns and say to that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. Watch what happens. Verse 27, come, let's sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh and blood. And his brothers agreed. So when the Midianite merchants came by, his brothers pulled him out of the cistern and sold him for 20 shekels of silver to the Ishmaelites who took him to eat. Egypt. The first test that you have to pass is the test of rejection. I don't know how to tell you this any other way, but not everybody likes you. Somebody in the bag's like, I don't like this message. <laughs> the Bible says, and Jesus said, by the way, guys, they rejected me. They for sure are going to reject you. By the way, if you don't ever want to face criticism, don't ever do anything in your life. You're going to be criticized. You're going to be rejected. Not everybody's going to accept your dream, but you got to stay sweet, and you got to stay kind, and you got to stay loving, and you got to stay gracious. Oh, come on. Clap your hands right now and thank your God. It doesn't matter. Not everybody has to accept you on this earth because I've been approved by my God. He faces rejection with man, but he's been accepted by God. His brothers are so mad at him, they say, you know what, let's, let's, let's kill him. In fact, no, 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 no. Let's, and they throw him into a pit. And it's in the pit that the brothers say, no, no, no. We do not want his blood on our hands. Let's take his Gucci coat. Let's kill an animal. We'll sprinkle some blood on it. We'll come back home to dad and we'll say, dad. We don't know what happened to your boy Joe. We're so sorry that he's gone. They're lying through their teeth. These brothers were so jealous. Remember, the reason why some people reject you is because they're jealous of you. They're jealous that you've got a plan. They're jealous that you've got passion. They're jealous that you've got purpose. They're jealous that you've got confidence. You've got security. You've got identity. And it's pressing somebody's button. Oh, come on. Somebody thank God right now. I'm a dreamer. And I don't care if it pushes your button. I don't care if you got to reject me. Here comes Joseph, and he's thrown into the pit, and there's some Midianite sherp, uh, sherp, uh, merchants that come by, and they, they go, how much for the boy in the pit? And they're like, how much you got? They go, oh, we got, you know, just about 20 shekels of silver. They, well, that sounds good to us. And they purchase Joe out of the pit, and they buy him as a slave. It is here, as he goes down to Egypt, that Joseph, the youngest, Joseph with the Gucci coat, Joseph with the God dream, Joseph stays sweet, he stays kind, he stays loving. My question to you is, can you face rejection on the internet or in person and still be who you're called to be? Still be loving. Don't give somebody control over the spirit of who you are. Don't let it increase your attitude. Don't let it affect your speech. Don't let it change the opinion or the way that you see life. Joseph went down as a slave to Egypt, but he said, listen, even if I get rejected, I'm going to stay sweet. Even if they hate me, I'm going to stay kind. Just because they hate me, that doesn't mean I have to hate them. Oh, come on, somebody thank God right now. I can face rejection because I've been accepted by my God. <laughs> 